I've decided to read these stories because I can't help myself. When I'm reading them alone, I'm reading them aloud. Even though they're translated to English from the original Italian, the phrasing is so conversational that I can't help but imagine I'm just trying to talk someone's ear off about each subject that he's talking about. And at some point, I'm going to have to track down a copy in Italian just so I can see how it reads uh, in Calvino's own words. All of the dialogue in the stories feels very country to me. Uh, I was raised in West Virginia, and I can easily imagine <laughs> as a relative telling a story around the dinner table. Uh, it's just got the flavor, I guess. So if my very slight southern accent comes through at all, it's because I feel it's entirely appropriate to the character. One of my favorite things uh, about these stories is the names of the characters that Calvino has come up with. Not a single one of them is conventionally pronounceable, and it really makes me want to read them out loud even more just because I think they're hilarious. Uh, a lot of them were also written to look like mathematical formulae, so I'll try to make a note of that in the description of my videos. So the stories themselves are very similar to science fiction. Uh, I can't really tell if they are or should be classified as science fiction. Uh, and I don't really care. They're really beautiful stories. And the scientific aspect is right there behind them, no matter which way you think. If you want to class them as sci-fi, go for it. If you don't, that's fine too. Don't ask.